The center tube of the Lincoln Tunnel, linking Manhattan and Weehawken, opened on December 27, 1937. Vehicles exiting the tunnel were directed to 19th Street in Weehawken. It wasn't until the following year, when the approach, Helix, opened, connecting the tunnel to Pleasant Avenue on the border with Union City. The approach to the Lincoln Tunnel was designed by Port Authority engineer J.C. Evans. Initially, the Port Authority wanted to construct a tunnel through the Palisades directly to the tunnel entrance. The idea was deemed too expensive and too disruptive to the cities for which the tunnel would have passed through. Mr. Evans ultimately decided to construct a partially elevated spiral roadway that consisted of a 270-degree loop. The helix-shaped viaduct descended 122 feet from the Palisades to the tunnel entrance. From the top of the bluff, Mr. Evans decided to construct a depressed highway through Union City and North Bergen to connect with routes 1 and 3. A huge trench was cut through Union City and parts of North Bergen to make room for the new six-lane expressway. Hundreds of wooden homes were demolished over a mile-long, two-block-wide tract. Seven bridges were constructed to overpass the trenched highway.
The entire two and one half mile to Route 3 Speedway opened June 30th, 1939. The Express Highway provided a direct connection to US Route 1 and 9, then NJ1, and to a new interchange with Route 3 via a nine-span viaduct. Unfortunately, little is known about the original construction of the viaduct. The original plans for the viaduct were kept at the Port Authority offices in the North Tower of the World Trade Center. They were lost in the September 11th terror attacks. Each weekday, more than 150,000 vehicles crossed the bridge. After decades of neglect and overuse, the structure was raided in poor condition and was declared functionally obsolete. In 2017, the state of New Jersey began a major rehabilitation of the critical structure. Reconstruction of the viaduct began in 2017 and lasted several years. The federally funded project dot cost taxpayers $100 million. With the overhaul complete, it is expected the bridge will last another 75 years.
providing access to present-day Kennedy Boulevard from Route 495, then 3, proved challenging for Port Authority engineers. Lacking sufficient space to build a traditional cloverleaf interchange, planners were forced to improvise. Port Authority engineer J.C. Evans devised a compact three-level interchange to move traffic seamlessly between all the two roadways. Breaking interchange designed by Mr. Evans was copied around the world by many engineers. This hand-drawn map shows a brand new Route 3 Expressway, now 495, connecting to present-day Route 3. We were able to find a few photos of the small interchange that existed prior to the Turnpike's arrival in the early 1950s. This next photo was taken over Secaucus, near the Hackensack River looking towards North Bergen. from 1939 describes the future interchange to be built with a proposed extension of Route 10, which instead became the New Jersey Turnpike.
an artist's rendering of the future interchange from that same article. We found a few more photos of what the interchange looked like before the turnpike arrived. Next aerial shows the New Jersey Turnpike connecting to Route 3 and Delt present-day Route 495. 